Right, moving on now. Right, we mentioned in the last lesson the applications that reside on the server. We mentioned the two acronyms LAMP and WAMP. We said LAMP stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP. Linux being the operating system used on the server. Uh, the Apache is the application server which translates the PHP code into the HTML output. MySQL database which stores the, the data, the user data and so on and it's used for updating, retrieving and you know all that stuff yeah with the database and the PHP is the scripting language uh, used to develop um, dynamic web based applications and we'll be covering that in more detail the HTML being the, the, the basic formatting of the page and so on okay now we're going to introduce a couple more um, acronyms here yeah? there's IDE and there's WYSIWYG IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment WYSIWYG is what you see is what you get that's what it stands for Okay, now there's a couple of applications we're going to mention in the WYSIWYG section. One being Microsoft Front Page, which is a very uh, basic um, application used to develop websites, and also Dreamweaver as well. And basically, what that does, you design the whole thing uh, in, you know, you put the tables, you you paragraph, you indent text, and you know, you select the fonts that you want, and so on and uh, insert the pictures, everything, and then it would convert it into the HTML um, code, which then you can upload onto the server and so on. And it has a built-in uh, file transfer mechanism, which helps you to um, transfer the files once you've actually done the, the site itself, you can just upload it onto the server. Okay, now there's, like I, I was just mentioning here, file transfer. Okay, that's the second uh, protocol. We mentioned the HTTP being Hypertext Transfer Protocol, which is used for uh, the, the client and the server. So th the client would request something from the server. We mentioned a get and a post, and it would the server would send back um, the, the file that the client was requesting as a HTML file. Now FTP is used more on the development side now. Okay, so now you develop the site, you can upload it. You upload it using that pro protocol which is FTP so you would transfer the file and you would download the file again you work on the code again and you upload it again to the server and so on okay so that's the second protocol now to make life a lot simpler and for everyone to follow and benefit from this course what I decided to do is to develop most of the code in uh, applications that you, everyone has okay so in Windows you've got Notepad and you've got WordPad not everyone has front page or Dreamweaver although you can download them for free um, on the trial um, basis and then once you finish with it you can either buy it or, or whatever but I, I personally don't use um, much uh, front page or Dreamweaver most of what I do is through Notepad and WordPad and the next application I'm going to talk about okay now for FTP purposes um, I personally use Qt FTP I'm going to write it somewhere here Qt FTP okay they offer you 30 days trial so you can actually download um, Qt FTP and use it and we're going to do that I in a minute as well now Qt FTP is is brilliant from from my point of view and the other one is as web drive okay these are just two common uh, FTP um, applications okay so once you've done this, the code you can upload it but what Qt FTP does it has a built-in editor or IDE integrate development environment so you what you can actually do you can actually write everything in Qt FTP once you've finished all the code you save it and it's saved on the server you don't need to actually send it across or you can actually write the code save it onto your you know your hard drive your computer and then transfer it within the same program so you don't actually need to load a different program or transfer it or open up your server and then transfer the files. Whatever. It's everything is in is in one. So you can actually see it real time. And then you can go to the, to, to the browser straight away and see the result straight away. So Qt FTP is, is one of the best, if not the best, applications for file transfers and developing websites and so on. Okay, it doesn't have all the fancy stuff that Front Page or Dreamweaver has, such as you know you design the whole site and then it converts into HTML. It doesn't have that, so you have to do hard coding in Qt FTP. Okay, so that, that's basically in a nutshell that course here, that lesson here, and in the next lesson we'll be going onto the computer and we'll be practicing 
uh, or going through the basics of installing Qt FTP and uh, the basics of, of that as well as we'll be writing a few um, PHP scripts and, and testing it on the server and so on. So most of the, the next section will be on the computer so we'll be looking at the screen uh, most of the time instead of me standing here and talking. Okay, look forward to seeing you again.